what's up guys it's Anif here welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to sharpen images in Photoshop and also stay tuned for an, a technique that I use to selectively sharpen my photos without further ado let's get started What's up guys, it's Hanif here, welcome to another video. Before we continue with this video, make sure to like, comment, if you love the video, and also subscribe as much, it helps the channel grow, and it also helps me, um, um, it also helps me produce more content for you guys. Alright, let's get started with this. For this, for this image, we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop 218. If I see any other version of Photoshop, that's fine. I just duplicated my layer first before we get on with anything. If I continue, this image was taken like last year. Yeah, like a long time last year. And I decided to work with this image for the tutorial. I'll show you guys how you can sharpen your images using Photoshop. Maybe it's cool already. Maybe you just want the details to come out more. Maybe you want to uh, edit some other areas of your photos to come out more. This video will really help you. you no, know, like a very easy technique to sharpen your photos. And I'll also be giving you guys tips before sharpening, uh, before exporting your photos and all that. For if you're exporting your photos for web, I'll be giving you guys tips for that as well. So let's get started with this tutorial. Now, as you can see, this image is sharp already. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to blur it because that's how a um, that's how a image that's not in focus will look. So I'm going to blur it. I uh, yeah, I'm going to blur. Let's say like a little bit, like 1.7 pixel. As you can see, yeah, I've blurred it on purpose, so it now looks like an image that's not in focus. Yeah, as you can see the difference. I've blurred it. So now what I want to do now is what you want to do with your image that's not in focus is to um duplicate the layer first and go to filter scroll down to other then choose high pass now you will adjust your rad radius based on how much sharpening you want on your image it's obvious you don't want this much sharpening so you would rather keep it between zero to like 4.5 pixel but since i'm not trying to sharpen too much i'll just leave it at like 2.5 i guess yeah so that's fine and click ok and what you want to do is change your blend mode to overlay as you can see this image is now sharp again it's now sharper than it was so let me show you guys and after for this before after are you seeing that before after now another tip is if it's not as sharp as it wants to be or it wants to be sharper than it is already instead of going to a filter again adjusting your high pass what you want to do is ctrl j to duplicate the high pass layer so as to like make it a bit more sharper than it is already and she's sharper than it is and if it's too sharp for you you can also adjust the opacity a bit so it looks a lot better yeah now let's see you can see this is the image before i blot it and sharpen it and this is the sharpened version so yeah it's as sharp as it can get but just know that it won't it can never be as good as getting it on focus in camera that's why the advice i give to any photographers that come to me is that's they ask me for tips on editing and all that. What I would usually advise them to do is get it, get the, get everything right on camera first, from your focus to your white balance and all that. But yeah, it's as sharp as it can get. See, there's barely any difference between the sharpened version and the original version. So that's how you sharpen your image in Photoshop. Now, another tip I want to show you guys is a technique I like to call selective sharpening. I do this a lot maybe let's say per adventure you take like a group photo 
yeah and maybe few few persons are in focus and when sharpening you don't want it to like affect the rest of or affect every other person else in the photo what you would want to do is this what you want to use is this method selective sharpening because once you sharpen one side of the image like once you sharpen the whole image some parts will be over sharpened and that doesn't really look nice so without talking too much i'll show you how to, i'll show you guys how to do selective sharpening now let's start with that um the same thing filter high pass leave it as it was now here's what you want to do yeah leave that slow you set it to um overlay as usual what you want to do is hold your alt key and click on this layer mask button alt plus click on this now to bring you back to the blood image as it was blood before sharpening what you want to do now is go to your brush normal brush set the brush size make sure it's on your white because white reveals and black hides if you know your layer mask I just want to do is brush over the area that I want to sharpen you brush over the area that I want to sharpen now you see that this area is more sharpened than the other rest of the photo now where would you, you would want to do this is in group photos like I said earlier photos where you only want to sharpen a part of the image maybe ah, maybe once her eyes to pop more you can sharpen just her eyes and then leave the rest as it is so yeah that's how you do selective sharpening that's if you want to select only parts of your image and another tip i'll give you guys for uploading to web is um like you know most times when using social media like instagram that ruins everyone's photo in social media watch lots of photographers usually experience is um you upload your photo the quality it's all the quality is gone it's not as sharp as it is on your phone you upload the photo and they're like this is the same image on my phone why is it looking like this because like you can't really get everything together because instagram shitting our quality up what you're going to overcome so what you want to do now is make sure your image is set as the document profile is set as srgb as you can see here now i said that as srgb because that's how i exported it from lightroom when exporting from lightroom you need to set that srgb that's if you export to lightroom okay you need to be set at srgb or when you want to export your image go to export as now these are exports for web so the image quality is still there and still safe export as format is in jpg of course now the color space has to be set as srgb guys so that it's good for web and another tip like i do this a lot like most most photographers always ask me how do you get your image still sharp on instagram after uploading what i do like it's no secret at all all i do is um i just you know when you're about to post in photos instagram there's a sharpen slider so i just sharpen my photos before posting on instagram so all i do is just sharpen it from there you need to keep a sharpening at like 25 at most so it's a bit sharper than it is before posting on instagram and another tip i would give you guys is when do your regular adjustment before going to photoshop or in camera or what you'd want to do is go to detail here like the same thing that i do for instagram increase your sharpening see like this does a lot as well increase your sharpening and this also helps as well sometimes my knife needs to need to use eye pass after doing it increase your sharpening a bit or a lot whatever looks good to you or if you are feeling funky <laughs> increase your sharpening as much as you want and then you got a sharp image like most times this works very well for me especially most times so you might not even have to use high pass as well so yeah i guess that's it for today's video guys if you love this video make sure to subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel it helps the channel grow 
and also give a thumbs up if you're loving this content i upload weekly videos i try as hard as i can to upload weekly videos for you guys so make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and also comment if you're loving this video and you can also follow me on social media if if um social media or i get i notify you guys whenever i post new videos so you follow me on social media at hanif creates on insta on twitter and pictures by hanif on instagram so that's it for today's video guys and i'll see you guys next week bye thank you very much for watching i thought i would have said that but yeah thank you very much for watching